hey guys and welcome back to another video so today what i have for you guys is basically a wear test on this new hourglass veil translucent setting powder i'm going to use it to set my foundation my concealer and then i'll just check in every few hours throughout the day just to see how it holds up if you want to see that then just keep on watching Okay, so I ordered this Hourglass Veil Powder from Beautylish, and that's just because Sephora was sold out online, and it was sold out when I tried to go pick it up at the store. This just says that it's an ultra-refined powder formulated with light reflecting particles to blur imperfections, packaged in an innovative sifter designed to dispense the perfect amount of product. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It is very, very nice packaging. And... This is what it looks like. It just has, I've never seen a powder like this. Most powders are just a deep bowl type of thing and they have bigger holes. This one has a smaller sifter as you can see here. That is what the lid looks like if you are someone that normally puts the powder on the lid to actually get, get powder out. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it like this because that's what I would normally do. And I do like it because it does only dispense a little bit of product. And if you are someone that likes to bake, you might not like that just because you want a lot more powder to be able to dip into. I use a sponge to set and I don't mind this. I don't mind tapping it over and over versus I know myself and when I've used too much powder, it ends up just kind of going to waste. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do my foundation and kind of just speed through that. That way you can just see how I set my face as soon as I have applied my foundation and concealer. And I am just gonna go back in with this Makeup Revolution um, foundation stick. I do use the color F10. I did do a first impression on this foundation and I do like it. It's very creamy and I just, I like it. I think this is gonna be the third time that I wear it. Now, I did just tap this a little bit more to get more product, so you can definitely get a lot more product to come out. And what else? It's very, very fine. I don't see it adding any extra coverage or anything, and that's okay with me. I just wanna use it to set, so I am just gonna go ahead and directly dip into this like so. And I like to set it like that. I'm not necessarily baking, but I put enough under there and then just continue to push that powder in. And I'm doing exactly what I would do with any other powder. The other powders that I use the most often would be the Cover FX setting powder and the RCMA no color powder those are like my go-to pretty much my pretty similar ones this is what it's looking like so far i am just gonna use this to set the rest of my face and i do this because i have like super deep smile lines from doing this all the time so <laughs> That's where I'm gonna set. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead. I'm just trying to use this as much as I can all over just to see how, if it's gonna make this <laughs> makeup last, if it's gonna look chunky or cakey. But so far it doesn't feel over, it doesn't feel drying. I normally use the Cover FX powder and I would say I have normal skin with a few dry areas. I don't really have oily skin. Okay guys, so this is a close-up of the powder. 
so far i think it looks good it is 207 now i have finished the rest of my makeup doing my filming cleaning up some products so it is two o'clock i will try to check in in maybe like four hours just to give it a good you know settling see if it's gonna break up see if it's gonna hold this foundation together and another thing that i noticed is that even though i tapped on it a few more times to get more product product out the design of this like going inwards is very nice because even though that there is still powder there it's sitting in that deep dish kind of spot you know what i'm saying that way when i do this it's going to be just fine and when i open it it's not just going to kind of fly all over the place so i do really like the design of the packaging for this okay guys so this is just my check-in as you saw it is a little bit past 6 30 i've been wearing this makeup for a little bit over four and a half hours and i would say the powder is holding up pretty good it has held my makeup in place you can still see my blush you can still see my highlight um, it hasn't really creased, I would say, underneath my eyes or around my smile lines, which most powders do. Right away, it'll happen right around here. Anyways, guys, so far for those four hours, I think it has held up pretty nice. I will do probably one more check-in around 8 or 10 p.m. So I'm just going to see if I do end up looking really, really dewy later because, like I said, I am wearing the Makeup Revolution foundation stick and it is more of a dewy finish. So I'm expecting to look a lot more dewy or oily within the next few hours so that was just this check-in and i will see you guys in a little bit more okay guys so i'm back for the final check-in and as you can see i definitely look a little bit dewy or glowy oily whatever you want to call it so let me just get closer i think the powder did a pretty decent job um another thing that i notice is that it some of the powders will crease right here in between my eyebrows because I have like frown lines. I don't know what they're called, but anyways, and it doesn't look that gross or cakey or like the powder has settled in there, you know? So overall, obviously for, you know, two, it's been like eight hours that I've been wearing this makeup because I put this on like around two something. I think it did a pretty good job. I think if I were to just add some powder now, it would just be like a little touch up, you know? I probably still use my sponge. My nose finally doesn't look dry, so I know that that was just my dry skin and not so much the product but look at how i'm just lightly dabbing now with that powder that i picked up if i were to touch up you know if i if it was earlier in the day that i had worn this makeup for eight hours look how it just looks really really nice and it's not really taking away any product either because you can still see my blush so all in all i think this is a very nice product I'm going to continue to use the powder just because I really liked it for underneath the eyes and all over the face. I I felt like it did um, help the longevity of my makeup. It didn't really go anywhere. It didn't really crease around the spots it usually creases for me, which is small lines um, in between the eyebrows and around the nose. So overall, I think it did a very good job. So I thank you again for watching this. I hope you stick around and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.